are watching Worldwide Exchange from Europe, Asia, and the United States. Welcome back. Amazon's first quarter profit fell 35%, but results still beat forecasts as revenues jumped 34% on higher demand for ebooks and online video. Media sales rose 19%. Amazon launched three new versions of the Kindle in the quarter, including the Kindle Fire tablet. And also, Zynga posted a first quarter loss, but revenues topped forecasts. Sales were boosted by new games like Slingo and the acquisition of OMG Pop, which makes the popular mobile game draw something. Monthly active users rose 24%. But analysts were uh, disappointed by the number of people playing Zynga games on Facebook. Joining us now to talk a little bit tech is Larry Fischelson. He's a tech expert and COO of Dynalink Communication. Larry, great to have you with us this Thank morning. Thank you for having me. Um, look, seeing a lot of these tech earnings doing quite well, obviously after the Apple numbers as well. Tech has had a great run up this year. If you're an investor and you want to get into tech now, how do you play it? Well, you definitely want to get into tech, and you want to get in the companies that are driving the marketplace. What I love about Amazon yesterday is only 6% of, of commerce is e-commerce. So there's huge upside. While everyone says it's 76 times earnings, you got to look at the future. So, you know, their revenue was up 32%. The only reason the profits were down was because of some fulfillment centers, you know, that they were building and some exchange rates. But if you look to the future, it's about content, apps, and mobile. And those are the plays that you want to be in. Okay. And what about Apple? Obviously, a blowout number for Apple as well. Not so much in the digital space, uh, talking more on the hardware side. If I'm an investor and I want to play tech, is it too late for me to get into Apple or is there upside? A lot of the analysts' uh, price targets still very high right now. There's a lot of upside in Apple. Apple right now, you know, when every, everybody says, oh no, Apple's, you know, going down, that's just because people are taking profit. It is con going to continue to rise. I have it at a $700 one year target, but I think that's very low compared to other estimates. So Apple continues to blow it out but once again you want to be where the users are going which is the mobile space the content space in the app space and as we saw in the Facebook s1 they were talking about the upside being in the mobile we saw yesterday even with Zing and the Amazon earnings the upside is going to the mobile so it's all about the mobile play and that's why Apple's driving it and these other content plays are where you want to be with that okay and speaking of Facebook an upcoming IPO obviously investors probably not going to be able to get in right Right away, but afterwards, what's your take on Facebook and if we should be looking at this as a, a solid uh, investment for this year? Long term solid investment. What other product has 900 million users and growing? And it's incredible. We saw with Zingo, 15% of their um, uh, profits of Facebook or their revenue was coming from Zynga. So I see Facebook is going to go out now. I'm looking to see um, them buy Netflix this year to get into streaming video. I think it makes sense for them to buy Zynga. So you want to be in a play like that that's going to continue with the acquisitions. They just uh, $550 million in patents that they bought from Microsoft. So it's all about the R&D and the cash reserves and to continue to buy the patents and I'm looking at them buying these other large companies right. that's where you want to be all right so with Facebook looking at some more acquisitions as positive uh, momentum for that company Larry we've run out of time but thank you so much for joining thank us thank you for having me Larry Fischelson tech expert and COO of Dynalink community